Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this episode of The Relationship Report, we dive into a conversation between Kevin Samuels and a 23-year-old caller who left her husband for no legitimate reason. Kevin Samuels laid out the hard truth, but the caller seemed to disagree. Let's see what Kevin has to say about the situation. Hey Monica, what's going on? Hi. Hi. I'm really nervous. That's okay. So, okay. how old are you? I'm 23. Uh-oh, you have any kids? I have one. All righty. Uh, were you married? Yes, I was. I still am. All right. But we're separated. Say again? I still am, but we're separated. you separated. Why? Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, first, he's a lot older than me. Okay. So, he's 36. Okay. And I'm 23. So, that's 13 years. And there was just a lot of disconnect between us. Like, we weren't friends. We wouldn't talk to each other. I didn't feel, um, like the marriage just wasn't going good. Okay. Um, and you're calling in to ask what about high value men? What it would be like if you got on back out there and dated? What? I mean, I've done a little bit of dating. Yeah. But hold on. I need I'm, you. I need I'm, you to I'm hold sorry. on. Hold on. Uh, make sure you keep your mouth at the right place on the microphone because it sounds kind of muffled. You're married, but okay. you're separated. Right there is fine. Yeah. All right. You're married. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on? Are you going to file for divorce? Um, I want to, but we haven't talked. Let me have. But before you do yet. that, before you do that, did you go? To, did you graduate from college or did you just get graduate from high school? Um, I'm in college now. Who's paying for it? Uh, um, <laughs> he was paying for it, but I also got some grants and scholarships. So, what do you think is going to happen if you divorce the man mm -hmm. paying for your college and you're a 23 year old out here with a child? Um, well, right now, with my, I'm staying with my mom. Is your mom, and I'm assuming your mother has no husband. Uh, she does. Is he your biological father? Uh, no, my biological father passed away. Sorry to hear that. You're married. Married. Yes. And yes. Why yes. are you guys not in marital counseling? Um, I mean, neither of us really thought of that. So let me get this right. You took the vows, you have a baby. And because the for better or for worse time happened, the first thing you, you decide when it's not going away, you decide to go to mama's house and go be in there with her man? Hold on, my mom's actually <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm sorry, Kevin, hold on. Bitch, if you want a burger, Bitch, a burger. eat a burger. Bitch, yeah. if you want a fair fry, Bitch, a fair fry. get a fair fry. <laughs> I mean, seriously, seriously though, seriously though, you're married and you left your husband to go be with, to go to your mama house with her husband. Um, and now you're calling me talking about dating. No. Well, I don't want to go back. That's the thing. So uh, I kind of want to do you want so let me get this right so do you want child support um maybe okay how about this do you, have a, do you, have, do you have a son hold on hold on do you have a son or a daughter a daughter okay L leave this leave the daughter with the father then you go do whatever you need to do go grow up i don't think okay i don't think he could take care of her oh trust me I he's taking care, care of, of you he, he no see that's what you financially but I. that's spend, a point I've see hold on stop, stop 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 that's that arrogance of you women. Men make better parents because we make practical decisions. You can't take care of you right now, ma'am. Yeah, but I feel like listen, if he listen, listen, mm -hmm. you're about to make a big mistake. So I'm going to tell you, I'll give you some advice. You got some options. One, you're a married woman. Act like one. Stop acting like a little girl. You're a married woman and a mother. 
Stop acting like a spoiled damn brat. Carry your ass to counseling and do whatever you got to do to try to save the marriage you volunteered to go in and put a baby into. It ain't about you, ma'am. It's about the baby. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. It ain't about your happiness. It ain't about none of that. It's about the baby. It's about your daughter. You better do what it, the best you can to make this work because if you leave, you're going to have to tell this little girl why she is not being raised with her daddy in the household. Why daddy's not going to be there when it's time to do homework and help her with this and ride the bike and all this other kind of stuff. Be another black little girl without daddy at home because mama ain't happy. Okay, but can I tell you what I was hoping? Go ahead. What happened? I was hoping, because I don't want to take my daughter away from her father. That's the last thing I would want to do. So I was hoping it would stay in a similar area. Um, I wouldn't move away. And that way, you know. Right. See, see you're, still, you're still playing. You're, still playing. You're, you're still playing. I can find someone like, new. Like, uh, Did y'all hear that? I was hope. this is what she said. I was hoping that we could just kind of, I could stay in the same area and I could live over here and he could live over there so he could be close and this and that. That way I could find somebody new. Uh, no. I mean, I'm going to. I No, no. I'm still, I'm still young and I don't want to live like. <sighs> I don't know. Marriage is just not what I thought it would be. I don't. I don't. Uh, welcome to adulthood. This is why I say you are not in a position to be raising this child. The woman who just said what you just said is not a parent. It's a little. You're a little. You're a teenager. You ran home to mommy. And if your mom really wanted to help you, she'd put your ass out and tell you to go back to your husband. That's he, what she should have done. Me off. Huh? He, he brought me off here because he felt that I was being I was being inappropriate on social media, but I wasn't. What? But he got What are you saying? I mean there were a lot of there were a lot of things leading up to that, but that was like the final straw. And then Monica he dropped me off here. He dropped you off. Okay. The net net of it, young lady, is I don't know what you think is waiting out here for you. All you got out here waiting for you is hard dick and bubble gum. That ain't a husband. Well, I've been meeting other... Yes, they will have sex with you. Yes, because you're a whole naive young piece of ass. Okay, and I never never was with anyone other than... You are a whole naive young piece of tail. You will be getting cock carousel rides for a while. You don't want to hear it because you are emotionally immature and want to run from your adult responsibility. Granted, I'm just telling you what's coming. You can get out here and get run up your sex count, but no one's going to honestly put a ring on your finger because they're going to listen to your story and say, ah, no. He's 36, and apparently he can take care of everything. What does he do for a living? He's a fire protection engineer. Ah, uh, so he makes good money. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So any other guy that comes along is going to say he's making more money, he's more stable. If she's leaving this grown ass man, what am I going to do? And any man on his level is going to be like, why do I want these leftovers? I'm just going to tell you the truth, ma'am. You think that it's it's going to be fairy tales out here just because you're cute. Because you sound like one of the little cutesy girls. See, like, like we can just have this, like, you, I can be divorced, and you can finish paying for my college, and then you can buy me a car, and then, you know, I'll get child support, and then when the baby needs clothes or something, I'll just, I'll just, you'll be always in his fucking checking account, always in his pocket, and when he finally marries a girl, somebody else, you're going to be that crazy chick thinking that he owes you more money, going to keep his ass in court, draining him, no, no. <laughs> I hope he finds this show. Brother, get your daughter. Get your daughter and save her from this. You young ladies think that this is a game. 
23 is not young when you have a child. You're over here breathing like a petulant teen teenager. I just feel like you're not really hearing me. You're not listening to how... Why did I do that? Because that would have gone on for five hours. It's not fair. It's not this. It's not that. Our black women have been sold a Disney fantasy of relationship and marriage. To where even when you got men who are working, doing what they're supposed to, it ain't, I'm not happy. You got a woman going to get welfare instead of being with her husband. And I'm doing this show about high value men because so many of you ladies think that just because you're cute, you can just go get a man off the high value tree. If you don't think that men that have got their life on the right track are sitting back saying, yeah, I hit it. But anything more serious? The caller in this conversation seemed to lack the maturity to handle the responsibilities of being a wife and mother. Kevin Samuels gave her some hard truths about the reality of the situation. But unfortunately, she did not want to hear it. It's important to understand that relationships and marriage are not just about fun and games, but they come with responsibilities that need to be taken seriously. As always, let us know your thoughts on this conversation in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to The Relationship Report for more content like this.